Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to your favorite girl on the internet. That's me, by the way. If you're new here, my name is Jasmine Rosette and in today's video, we're just doing an everyday makeup routine or my current everyday makeup routine. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna call it. <laughs> but before we get into this video, I would ask that you would give this video a thumbs up if you like any part of this video. Subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all things that I am doing and comment down below, say hi, I say hi back. And without any further ado, let's get it to this video. First things first, I need that Cormex girl. I need to moisturize my lips. And yeah, I thought I would do just like um everyday makeup routine because I've been really liking what I've been doing lately. I need to take my I need to take a swig of water because I'm a little perched, perched. And if you're wondering what I'm wearing, I'm wearing a pajama gown or dress. I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit so you can get it better. Let me bring you guys up just a tiny bit. Mm, I think that's good. All right, so I thought I would share with you guys, just because I want to, what I am doing every day for my face because I'm really liking it. As always, I will list everything down below, but I'm starting off with the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. That's, that's what I'm starting off with. I use it as a primer. It has 40 as an SPF, and it's my favorite because it truly is chocolate girl friendly like no white cast do you, do you see the cat do you do you see no you don't you don't see nothing girl but i'm gonna brush up my eyebrows i'm gonna get a mirror oh no i dropped a piece of makeup there it is just need to Brush up my brows. Just make sure they're good and set. You know, just up and out the way. I literally have nothing in my brows. They're just, they're just that thick and just that dark. So I don't do a ton to my brows. So I just brushed up my brows. I just got this Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pencil. It has, I really like this because it has a very thick, I don't know if you can see that. It has a very thick spoolie, which I really, really love. And I got it in the shade dark brown. But I'm gonna start off with the foundation. I am mixing the Milk Makeup matte foundation in the shade tan with the rare beauty foundation in the shade 330 neutral just putting that on the back of my hand i find mixing these two together just gives me a really nice shade and obviously I bring that down to my neck I'm just gonna ooh nope that did not work I tried <laughs> but I'm just gonna bring that down just blend that out All over until I get an even base and yes I have been wearing makeup to see no one to stay at home but honestly like me putting in a little bit of effort to wear makeup at home has just helped tremendously with my productivity it has just been 
so good. With helping me just stay productive. And also it's just like, I'm, I want to get into that routine. I don't want to lose the routine of getting dressed, you know? Because like, when I get dressed and I like put on makeup before this entire like new way of living started, I still did it for myself. I put on makeup for myself because I liked that process of getting ready because it was me taking time to just really connect with myself, check in with me, see how I'm doing, and then also just like make myself feel good and look good. You know, it is a form of self-care putting on makeup, but honestly, like doing it during these times, like it has definitely improved my productivity at work and has just made me like have a better mindset in a lot of ways. Like, yeah. Next I'm using the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I use the shade Butterscotch and Natural Beige. Natural Beige is not my shade. Butterscotch is, but um, mixing them together helps just with the brightness. So I mix it on the back of my hand. And I ended up buying the Rare Beauty like concealer brush. And I really like it. Like it spreads nicely. I still use the sponge. Um, I use this for like placement. Cause I find that like brushes, it's not as easy to blend for myself. And I'm able to blend a lot better if it's just a sponge. So it's really just there for placement. But yeah, I put this underneath my eye, over my lids, under my brow bone, center of my face, and then a little bit here. Yeah, just keep it center of my face there. And then I go in with my sponge and I blend, blend, blend. I also recently did my nails, you can kind of see. They came out pretty good. They look pretty good on camera and like up close and personal. I will say this hand looks a lot better than this hand, but yeah, I'm trying to like do my nails and be better about that. See, it's all blending. Really nice. And it's just effortless and seamless. The next shade that I go in with is, I believe it's Deep Olive. No, it is Deep Cinnamon. That is like my bronzer shade in the e.l.f. concealer. I think it's the yeah, it's the Hydrating Camo Concealer with a satin finish. I just like... Going here. And then... On my chin. 
I don't bring it too far on my forehead because I don't have the biggest forehead, guys. Have you ever done that thing where when you were a kid and people are like, let's see if you have a three head or a four head or a five head. See that? Because it's like from the top of your brow. I'm just looking in the monitors to make sure. But yeah, I have, I have a three head. It is what it is. It is what it is. I got what I got. Which is why I feel like... Um... doing baby hairs and stuff like that is such a challenge for me because I just don't have the real estate on my head to do that. And it like looks harsh and kind of crazy now, but then I blend it out and it gets much better. I just do a ragtag job, you know? but it's honestly what's been working for me. And I go back in with my foundation brush, just over it, and it just softens it, you know? Doesn't make it look as harsh. And obviously, going with the sponge just to make sure even more and it's looking you know pretty seamless working for me um I really like it I really like the outcome of it and then I need to do a little bit more brows honestly this this routine does not take me that long because I already brushed up my brows at the beginning, I'm just going to fill in the spots that need it. And if foundation got onto certain parts of the brow, I just go over it a little bit more. I've learned to not go super like in the front because I don't like the blocky brow look on myself. I find that like, on some people it looks really really great I am not one of those people and then I'll just brush through that because I'm into the look of it just not being perfect you know My brows don't need to be perfect and I find it gives a more like natural vibe which I'm all the way here for because I only really like clean up the underneath of my brow when I'm like doing maintenance on it and my brows are pretty dark anyway just on their own but this is good this is good for me I'm set here and I don't, I haven't been using brow gel because I just haven't found the need to. Um, I am going to go in with some highlight because everything's like wet right now, you know? And I want to keep that. Keep that. All together before I put any type of powders. I usually do the highlighting step first, but lately I haven't. And 
and I just try to keep it really just like near the temple brow bone area and using my finger I just find works and then I go in again with my foundation brush. It just like helps everything to just melt together better. And look very flawless. Like it just, it doesn't look super intense. I feel like it, it looks kind of subtle. I'm not out here to be like super full coverage. I just want like an even base because you can still see like some blemishes and stuff like that underneath, which is totally fine. Um, now it's time to go in with the powders and a powder that has changed my life is the Charlotte Tilbury powder. I use the one in tan. They only have mini sizes right now at Sephora, but I think they're going to be getting the full range soon. But... I sat my face with this underneath. And just anywhere where I feel like I'm going to be shiny, which is always my forehead. And this just stays on the center of my face, but I find that it has really just made a difference in the flawlessness of my makeup. I really, really enjoy this. And then I go in with my loose powder. Sometimes it's the Milk Makeup one, sometimes it's the Fenty one. Just to give it a little bit of sculpting, you know, gotta give the illusions when you can. I'll bring you in a little bit more. There you go. I feel like you can see a little bit more. Yeah. Just using the setting powder, not too much. But just enough to kind of like help with sculpting. And I find just using the combination of the Milk, the Fenty, or, well actually, either the, the Charlotte Tilbury is going to be like heavy rotation for the rest of my life. I'm pretty sure it's a Holy Grail product for me now. But I use this first and then I go in with a loose powder. And that is either the Fenty one or the Milk Makeup one. Um, both are really good and I like both of them. They do a really great job. And then, uh, as that is kind of like baking away just a little bit on my face, I will go in with my bronzer or my contour shade, which is just my Lancome foundation um, powder in the shade 500 suede C. I think it's 500 or it's 550. Um, the shade has, I've had it for so long that it has kind of, you can't see what it is anymore. But it's a really dark shade. So I just kind of stick with the little pockets there just above. And it just like adds that nice amount of depth to my face so and then I obviously you know sculpt my job 
and then a little bit there and then once that's done I take off that extra powder with the brush that has nothing on it just to get rid of all that you back out again I'm gonna go in with my Mac blush in the shade Lovejoy my Mac mineralized blush I've had this for years for so long I just put it on my cheeks I like a lot of blush I don't mind a lot of blush and just a little bit on the bridge of my nose and then excess on my lids just to give a cohesive you know moment and then I go in with my cover effects high performance setting spray 24 hour and just let that dry I usually have a fan but I don't want to get up and go grab it but yeah let that dry and then if you were with me in a previous get ready with me video you would know that the Fenty Beauty liner is the holy grail it is so pigmented it is so like it is a true black it is beautiful and it goes on so smooth and it is easy to work with and yeah and it gives me the sharpest most defined looks so that is what i'm gonna do and i just like do a line from the outer corner and just kind of flick it towards my end of my um brow and then I just bring it back in kind of like in a triangle. So I will zoom you guys in so you can see what I mean by that. But this is how I do that. Then I just fill in. The wings went a little bit too far, but you know, it happens. You go with the flow until you get it as even as you can. And that's all that you can do. And my mascara is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. I love this mascara. It's so good. It gives me the volume, the thickness that I like. And they're cruelty free, which is... I try with all my makeup to try to be as cruelty free as possible. Um, so if there is a brand in here that you know that is not cruelty free, please do let me know. But I checked... I know the Lancome and the MAC one is not, but I've had them for before I even started trying to be cruelty free. And I'm not a type of person who is just gonna throw away makeup that is still good to use. So um, I use things until they're completely gone and then I will get a replacement. So I don't have like a ton of makeup but the makeup that I do have, I like make sure to use it all because I don't want to be wasteful. Like unless it's truly like breaking me out or causing irritation or, you know, something like that. Like if the shade doesn't work, say if it's like a little bit too light, I have like darker shades, you know, with my bronzers which are really just concealers. Whew, child. I think mascara is like one of my favorite parts besides lips. 
lips used to not be my favorite, but I've kind of learned to just like always do a concoction, <laughs> like a little cocktail with your lips products. And you'll eventually get a color that works. Nice. That is beautiful. So again, these lip products I've had for quite a while, especially Chestnut by MAC Cork. Not as much, but I still use it every day. I know that's not cruelty free, but I am trying where I can. I'm not perfect. So I'm going in with Chestnut and I just use it to line my lips, give that definition for the Cupid's bow, you know what I'm saying? And then I go into the center with cork. Because lining your lips helps your lip products last a lot longer. But I mean, even this combo is so beautiful. It's so nice. And then I go in with my NYX Cosmetics in London. Look at that, beautiful. And I go a little bit with Abu Dhabi in the center. I'm feeling myself, and the thing is like, this isn't a ton of makeup that I'm putting on my face. Like, I don't feel caked, I don't feel weighed down by any of the products that I'm using. Like it just, it's a good amount, okay? It's a good amount. And then I'm gonna go over it all with the NYX Butter Gloss in Madeline. Cause I just, I used to hate having big lips, but I have learned to embrace it. Cause when I was a kid, I loved going to the beauty store and getting that 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 gloss and just putting a lot of it on okay but yeah that is the final makeup look this has been my everyday sometimes the wing liner is big and sometimes it's really small today i went big because i went big on this eye and didn't match it and that's just how it goes sometimes but that is my everyday makeup look it is it doesn't take me that long honestly and it is something that I have been doing several times a week, at least during these times to just try to help myself feel more like myself and give myself a routine because I just last year did not have one. And I feel like going home to Texas was very helpful to like help me put makeup back on and kind of get into the routine of getting dressed and putting makeup on. I say that even though I'm wearing my a little nightgown here but that's all right okay that's all right so yeah this is my everyday makeup look if you've made it to the end of this video thank you so much for watching it till the end and i appreciate you so much and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like any part of this video subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all things that i am doing and comment down below say hi i say hi back and don't forget to stay kind, stay true, and stay laughing. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Sure of what I see, Cupid, don't f with me. Are you telling me this is a sign? She's looking in my eyes, and I don't see no other guys. Are you telling me this is a sign? Yeah.